Hello, Ink, my dear. How are you? How's it going? Um, I'm just in the process of switching us over to that game. It's one of those, um, I, uh, I went to, I, I started stream, and then I realized I had, like, three different things I had to do before starting stream. And I made tea. I think making tea before stream is, like, a very nice little, like, hmm, thing. So I think I'm gonna, I, th I think I'm gonna keep doing it. Um, it's just, it's just a really nice little thing that I think I want to keep doing. Um, but hi, hello, how are you? I didn't, I ran out of the coffee creamer that I like to use in my tea, so I, uh, just used half and half. And I spilled some, and my immediate inclination, like, on my hands, my immediate inclination was, like, lick it off. Um, and then was really disappointed when it tasted like milk. Because, of course, it did. And I don't know why I was disappointed by that. Um, just because I don't, I don't like, I don't like milk. Milk is, milk is gross. Um, I'm good doing homework. Well, how are you? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Um, I've got some homework to do, actually, but that's okay. Hi, Azra, Azra Saba. Please tell me if I pronounce that wrong, but hi, hello, how are you? Welcome on in, my dear. Always happy to have uh, first time chatters in. So, hello, hello. Um, I'm going ahead and I'm getting the game started up right now. Hi, Jasper. Hi, my darling, how can I help you? You're gonna get cat hair in my, your, honey, you're gonna get cat hair in my drink and I'd really rather you didn't. Should we do a little Jasper sighting, even though Pidge isn't here yet? Oh, there he is. Oh, your life is so hard. Oh, it's so hard, isn't it? Mwah. Your life is so hard. I know. Oh, gosh. No, get off the desk. Bubba's, come on. Thank you. He acts like I never give him attention when he's literally been sitting on my lap all morning. Um... He's shedding like crazy too, so my allergies are acting up. Um, love him to death, but still allergic to him. Uh, let's go ahead and get Sims set up here. Like I said, I was a little behind and I figured I might as well do a little bit of chatting um, while I get the game set up. Uh, today's stream is going to be a little bit shorter than usual. Usually we go till 3, um, but today we're going to cut off at around 2.15 because I have an appointment that I thought I made yesterday um, and it was actually today. So if I had made it yesterday, it wouldn't have interfered with streaming, but I made it today. Nah, say la vie. Um, ain't that just the way Jasper's down here chasing his tail? Um, ain't that just the way? So I'm not, uh, so I won't be streaming as long, but, 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 I'm very excited about this. Um, I just checked my, uh, like my channel analytics and, um, turns out that the one year anniversary of when I started streaming regularly, um, is on Friday. <laughs> so I guess we're going to set up, like, I don't know if we'll do Jackbox, if we'll do another Kahoot night, um, maybe we'll do, I think we'll do Jackbox, um, because I'd say Mario Kart, but not everybody has that, but everybody can do Jackbox. There's more soup! There is more soup indeed. Indeed, indeed. I can't see my chat right now. Is that our our dear Murmur? Hi, Murmur. Mario, sup, homies? Kahoot, kahoot. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Because the stream anniversary is on Friday, I don't have a lot of time. What do you think, Wackus Bonkus? Kill him. Who? You naughty Wackus Bonkus. Um, Kahoot? What sort of, like, things would you want? Would you want, like, stuff that's happened over the year? Like, in streams? Um, cat-themed Kahoot? Chat makes a Kahoot. <laughs> Chat makes a Kahoot. If the Kahoot 
That sounds chaotic. I love. I love. I love. Swag anime freak. Welcome on in. Thanks so much for the follow, my guy. I appreciate it. Um, chat could make cahoots if you guys really want to. Like I said, the anniversary is on Friday. So... <laughs> And then chat plays it the next week because everyone will have forgotten. That's true. If you guys... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We can discuss it more in the Discord. Of course, but I'd love to, like... Hmm. I don't know, but if you guys really want Kahoot... It was either going to be, I think, Kahoot or Jackbox. Because I want something that everyone can kind of participate in. Um... And we can all do Kahoot. Um, Jackbox on Valentine's? We can do Jackbox on Valentine's, because that was another one. Because it's really fun, right? Because we're doing my one year stream anniversary on Friday, and then on Monday we've got Valentine's Day. Um, we can do Jackbox on Valentine's. Is there a Valentine's themed? We could play, what's the monster dating game? What's the monster dating game? We could play that on Valentine's. That could be really fun. Um, monster prom? We could do monster prom. I meant like the Jackbox. There's a Jackbox game that's like... There's there's a Jackbox game that's um, monster dating. We could do monster prom. We could, but I want something where I can like interact with you guys, you know? Monster Seeking Monster. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. I know what you mean, but I forgot the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could do Monster Prom. We might just do... Um... We might do multiples. Um... Because I love Monster Prom. I play it all the time. Uh, like, in my own time. I haven't- I don't even know if I have the Jackbox for Monster Seeking Monster, though. Because I have- whichever Jackbox has Trivia Murder Party, that's the one that I have. Is that four? The fourth pack? I think I have five. So I'd have to buy four. Um, which would be fine if that's something that you guys are interested in, but it sounds like... Kahoot is kind of where people are leaning. We could always do a little bit of both, too. Um, I think that would work out swimmingly as well um so no i feel like we really could do either um ah um <laughs> how would the chat makes a kahoot thing work though I don't know how that would work. I could make a kahoot about like events that have happened over the years, like in, or over the year, one year, um, like in streams. Um, everyone makes a kahoot. We all play. Oh, like, like individuals can make kahoots and then we'll play them on stream. If, yeah, if there's enough people that want to make kahoots, like, I'll make one, um, if anyone else wants to make one. It's kind of like one of those, like, PowerPoint nights. Y'all know what I mean? Um, but we do it with Kahoot. That could be really fun. I would, but I have no time. See? I'm not funny enough, though. What? Okay. So, I still have a wacky PowerPoint. <laughs> what we can do... I don't know. I can present everyone my ratings of every Power Rangers season. <laughs> Moa, that's so specific. Oh my god. That is incredible. That's so specific. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. Well, PowerPoint night is something that I'm going to have to put on the back burner. I do not have time to, like, figure out the logistics of PowerPoint night. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna write it down. 
I'm gonna write down the fact that you guys want that. Because it sounds like you do. Hold on. Uh, PowerPoint. Right. All right. It's written in the notebook of immense ideas. Um, with all the other stuff that you guys would like me to do on stream. So I've got it in the notebook. Um, so yeah, okay. Kahoot or Jackbox, Monster Seeking Monster. If people are interested in Monster Seeking Monster, I know it can be a little awkward. Um, but... Um, that is up to you guys. If there's enough people that are interested in We'll run a vote, I think. We'll run a vote on the Discord for what people want. Um, because for the most part, it'll probably be a Discord thing. Oh my god, I still have it. I love that for you. Um, that is incredible. I don't have any fun. Oh wait, that's not true. That's not true. Hold on. I want to see if I still have it. Let me see if I still have it. Um, um, dang it, I started. Ah, I found it. I found it. Which you guys? Okay, so I have a 14 slide PowerPoint presentation. Would you guys like to see it? Um, and then we'll start stream. I have a 14 slide PowerPoint presentation about things that give me gender envy, but it makes less and less sense to cis people. You guys wanna see that? Okay. All right, we can do that, hold on. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna figure out how to set this up. Um, just let me know if y'all ever need content. Hell yeah, dude. I can do that PowerPoint anytime. I watched almost every season of Power Rangers, so you don't have to. I legitimately love that. I love that so much. Um, okay, this is going to be a pretty quick PowerPoint presentation, but... Um, okay, if I put this in... If I go to present, I wonder if y'all will still be able to see that. Okay. Um, so y'all let me know if you can still see this, but let me make sure. This is on my personal email, so I have to like make sure Y'all aren't gonna see my full name or anything. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. So. Things that give me gender envy, but it makes less and less sense to cis people. If I go into slideshow, can you guys still see this? Does it still look the way that it's supposed to? I'll turn a blind eye if I do see it. Thank you. It looks good? Alright. Now presenting... Things that give me gender envy, but it makes less and less sense to cis people. By Gil. Number one. Twink boy Shamamale. Because of course. I, it's, I want to look like... I want to look in a button-up the way that he looks in a button-up. Why, why don't I... I feel like I should. Um, and I feel like it's a hate crime that I don't. I love that dresser. Gimme. Right? Right? Number two is Thomas Brody Sangster. I had what I thought was a major crush on him through most of high school. 
uh, come to find out, I just want to look like a, like Peter Pan. I don't know. Like, he just has Peter Pan vibes. I can't help it. And, you know, that's trans icon. Number three is Howl from Howl's Moving Castle. Peter Pan smoking. Yes. Don't do it, Peter. That's actually from a music video that he was in. Howl, yes, of course. Howl. Everyone's favorite magical, dramatic wizard, Howl. Specifically when he's in his weird bird form. Incredible gender envy. He's the reason that I own a peasant shirt. Um, and I just get very, very excited. Also, like, pulling off the dangling earrings and still being mask. I love it. Is it bad to say who? Ink, I need you to get off my stream right now and go watch Howl's Moving Castle. <laughs> oh, both of you. You need to watch Howl's Moving Castle. It's a very, very good film. It's very, very good. <laughs> All right. Number four, we've got Jim Hawkins from Treasure Planet. Also iconic. Like just... I don't, I don't know what it is. Fantasy, fantasy boys with, uh, daddy issues. Um, that's, that's my, that's my gender identity. So. I'm here for it. I love it. It's everything I want to be and more. Um, also again, thought I had a crush on him as a kid. Nope. Actually just want to be him. Number five is Albedo from Genshin. This was before I got Albedo, actually. And it's something about the hair. There's something about the hair and the obvious neurodivergency that just makes him gender. Chalk boy. Exact it just makes him gender, okay? I don't know what it is about it. Yeah. You manifested Albedo with that PowerPoint. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I need to do a PowerPoint of things I want to manifest into my life. <laughs> Obviously, that's the key. That's the key. <laughs> Number six is this squirrel boy from Neopets Treasure Keepers. I was actually looking for something else, but then I found this squirrel boy. Maybe he's a fox. I don't know. I thought he was a squirrel when I wrote this. Um, but there's something about him. I don't know. I just found him online. There's something about him. Very gender. I think it's the hair, just that brunette adventurer, like, I just want to go on an adventure. I've never seen him in Neopets, because it's not Neopets, it's Neopets Treasure Keepers, which is a different side game. It works like a board game. In the same way that, like, when they made the, like, Neopet Pet game, this is just another spinoff game. Um, so anyway, Gender Envy. Uh, number seven is Eerie from Neopets. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the eyes. Maybe it's the eyes. Like, the eye, like, eyeliner on fleek, okay? Eyeliner on fucking fleek. But, like, still, like, powerful. And, like, very, like, mask, though. That's an animal, though? This is why it starts making less and less sense to cis people, Ink. This is why I'm achieving my goal. <laughs> Eeries are cute. Eeries are very cute. Also, like, wings? Poof. Fantastic. Lauren, hi! This is a PowerPoint that I made, um, like, a year ago. Um, and it's called Things That Give Me Gender Envy, But It Makes Less and Less Sense to Cis People. Eeries are very cute. And there's something very specific about, like, wings that feel very gender. Um, and we're already on number seven, Lauren, so it's about to get weird. Number eight, the Mothman statue in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Um, not necessarily the concept of Mothman, but specifically this statue. Okay? Specifically this statue. Again, I think it's a wings thing. I think I just want wings. Like, I had a fairy obsession as a kid, and I don't think I ever got over that. I think I just want wings. You want to be a moth? Not necessarily. I think I just want the wings. And like, if my eyes could also like glow red whenever I wanted them to, or like, like a cat, like when you take, like when you take a cat 
and like shine flash and then their eyes like poof, like do that i want eyes like that and i want wings i'm imagining you with wings now i am here for it i'm here for it i've never had like fake wings on a costume or anything but I, I want I just want wings like I can't I can't help it I don't even like heights I just want the wings for the aesthetic uh, number nine is the beast from over the garden wall just like let me become an amalgamation of identities that lives in the shadows with again glowing eyes I want the glowing eyes um, and I'm gonna stand by the fact like even when you shine a light on him um that's still that's still it i looked up and screamed oh no lauren oh babe i'm so sorry we'll skip it next one this is greeble um this is greeble greeble also gives me gender envy i don't know what it is i think maybe it's the eyes again Glowing eyes and wings noted. Yeah, that's that's all I want. It's all I want. Um, dragons are also very um, dragons. Dragons very gender. Very gender. Greeble is perfectly centered on the flag, right? Like I think that Greeble should be. If the like ears for Greeble were pink, I feel like Greeble should be the trans mascot. Um, I'd want to be a dragon. I would love to be a dragon. Oh my god. Um, I would want to be a dragon. Everyone wants to be a dragon. I mean, come on. I don't have a dragon in this PowerPoint. Um, but I'd want to be a dragon. I would hoard burbs and cats. Perfect. Excellent. A plus. 10 out of 10. I love it. Um, but yes, yeah, so... <laughs> Greeble. I don't know. Maybe it's just... He's like a weird cat frog, too. I'm here for it. I love it. I love them. Uh, Wacky Zingos from Webkins. Um, I don't know. They just seem so free. And outside the construct of gender, which makes me jealous. I'd hoard gold. Like the classic dragon I'd be. Hell yeah. Is that a banana? So these guys are from Webkins. And specifically the Webkins, or maybe it's Neopets again. It's one of the two. And like, you'd throw it up and then you'd hit it with a bat and see how far you could get it away. Um, and they just seem very, it's Webkins, you heathen. That's what I thought. Um, your conception of what is gender and my conception of what is gender is so different. I'm enjoying myself greatly. Thank you. <laughs> My, uh, it feels like a make more and more, more confused as we go. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. Don't know half of these. <laughs> I'm too cis for this. Yeah, exactly. And we've got four more slides to go, baby. Um, probably too young. That might be part of it, too. A lot of this stuff is, like, very early 2000s, um, like, vibes. Uh, <laughs> But yes, the the wacky zingos, they just exist outside of outside of the construct of gender, and that makes me envious. Uh, number 12 are raccoons at night. Um, at night specifically. And uh, again, I think it's the glowing eyes. I just want to be shadowy with glowing eyes and wings. Maybe I do want to be Mothman. Forbidden cat, exactly. It's the eyes. We're sensing a theme, Moa. We're sensing a theme. I just want reflective eyes. I have never been happier than having my photo taken with a 90s camera that gives me red eyes. <laughs> do you remember when cameras used to do that? They don't fucking do that anymore. Makes me sad. What a fun effect. Uh, but yes, I'm from 2000s. Oh, I am too. Um, yes, so raccoons at night. There's just something because they correct the red eyes. Yeah, yep, 
Flash still kind of does, I feel. Kind of. That was cool and creepy at the same time. I, you know, it's just, it's got a very specific vibe to it, I think. See, I'm not too young. Valid. Valid. No, we're the same age, Moa. I am. Yeah, Ink is... Ink is a youngin. Um, but yes, so... Uh, raccoons Raccoons at night is number 12. Uh, what's a raccoon? Uh-huh. Uh, 13, skeletons. Um, devoid me of flesh and I will finally be free. Ink is still a toddler. Exactly, yeah. Um, yeah. If no one can tell anything from my anatomy, um, then I will finally be free of all gender norms. So, also then, I can be the spooky, scary skeletons of my dreams. Um, so I feel like that's uh, very, very important. Very, very, very good. Oh, is that the last one? I thought I had more. Oh, that's our last slide. Yes, number 13 is skeletons. I think my personal favorite is raccoons at night. Um, They still slap boobs on skeletons, though. Yeah, I don't understand that. Wait, go back to the beginning. Okay, so for Lauren, we've got Twink Boy, Sh Twink Boy Shamamale was number one. Number two is Thomas Brody Sangster. Number three is Howl. Number five is Jim Hawkins. Or, yeah, number number four is Jim Hawkins. Number five is Albedo. Number six is this squirrel boy from Neopets Treasure Keepers. Number eight is the Eerie. <laughs> And then, of course, Mothman. <laughs> um. So that is, of course, what I spent some free time doing. Uh, when when did I make this? Let's see. Um. Uh, da -da -da -da. That would have been. Uh, May of last year is when I, is when I made this. Um, and you know, a lot of it, still super valid. There's a lot of stuff I think I would add now, though, but I'll do, I'll do an updated version to present later on, but, um, <laughs> Albedo is very gender, but, like, I appreciate his gender. As a non-twinky white boy, I personally come from a place of appreciation and acknowledgement of not envy. Valid. I have envy because he gets to the neurodivergent gender aspect of it. Because um, he, it's just not a concept that he exists with, and I am very envious of that. Things that exist outside of the gender binary to the point that they don't even have to recognize it on a day to day, very envious. Very, very envious. You end with the one I get the most. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I don't know why they slap boobs on skeletons. I don't understand. <laughs> they literally don't. Like, there's nothing. The only. I like your mug. Oh, thank you. This one came from Marshall's. Um, so I can't link this one, but the one that I had on Monday, I uh, tweeted about it. I tweeted the link to where I bought it from, because uh, it's a small business on Etsy, and stoneware mugs are fantastic. So, but this one came from Marshalls, I believe. Um, but I really like the dipped mugs. Um, <laughs> I just had the like really intrusive thought to just like tip this upside down and like make the motion of like the dipped mug um that would have been terrible this is half full of tea <laughs> i think mushrooms are gender but like the ugly freaky ones like wood ears inky ink caps yes those ones are cool i'm surprised that doesn't trigger your tripophobia um because I'd really think that it would. Because some of those mushrooms get nasty, bro. Um, and also, I'm sorry for triggering you. I kind of, I forgot that that image was in there. 
It low-key does. I don't look at mushrooms too hard. Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. I like them in theory, not in practice. Okay. Okay. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Let me, uh, do, do, do. We're, uh, now, now that there's more people here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it again. Uh, stream is gonna run a little short today. Um, I, uh, have an appointment that I thought I made yesterday, um, and turns out it's today. So, we have to end stream a little bit early today, unfortunately. Just as, like, an FYI. Um, it's not a trigger because I've watched over the garden wall so much. You're good. Um, it was just Korean centipede episode two. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, Lauren and I, Lauren and I were watching a K drama uh, last Friday, and we uh, <laughs> we we watched an episode and then chatted for four hours. Um, because <laughs> we're really good at that. Um, and, um, yeah, we got talking about house centipedes. I've talked about house centipedes on, on stream before. They are nasty. Um, yeah, I know, Pidge. I'm sorry, honey. I really, I really thought, I had it, like, in my planner and everything that it was yesterday. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, well. All right. Let's, uh, let's actually do the category that I selected and play some Sims, huh? That might be a, uh, bit of a good idea, maybe. My hop. Um, I'd like to meet some of the neighbors as well. Um. Because I think only a couple of you were here when we were doing, uh, when we were adding people. Um. So there are some very fun new ones for us to go introduce ourselves to, so. No, I love, I love Over the Garden Wall. Who doesn't? Who, who doesn't? It's such a good show. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. So, the new... Here's my thing, right? Okay. So, the Universal Pinocchio that's coming out that TikTok is currently obsessed with. Um, that one's coming out, but I'm concerned because because TikTok got obsessed with this other Pinocchio, I'm worried because Guillermo del Toro is doing a Pinocchio version. It's gonna be like dark Pinocchio. Which I've been hyped for for like two years. Um, in part because Patrick McHale is working on it. And Patrick McHale was, is the creator of Over the Garden Wall. Um, but I'm worried that the internet's getting obsessed with this other one that they're not even going to give Del Toro's Pinocchio a chance. And it makes me a little sad. Um, okay, that's just, that's just my, my mini, my mini rant. Okay, what time is it? It's 5 a.m. Little siege, little, little siege. Uh, yes, go to the bathroom. Everyone has to pee. Um, <laughs> we have one toilet, so... It's prank day. Yeah, tell your moms to get out of the bathroom. Um, who are we gonna prank? Sick pranks, bros. Hey, can you guys stop that? What? They're stuck. There we go. Um, Rai. Hello, hello, Rai. How's it going, my dear? Oh. 
How are you? Rye got a got a taste of what it's like to text me random stuff. Um Uh, honestly, could be better. Oh no, Rai, I'm sorry, honey. How are you? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Hanging out. We're gonna have a, a, a slightly shorter stream today, unfortunately. But for the most part, like, I'm just kind of vibing, you know? <laughs> I'm just vibing, hanging out. It's a grand old time. Uh, it's a Sunday. I want him. Da, da. Edward wants to prank somebody. It's Edward's birthday soon, isn't it? No, not for another four days, really? Whoa, okay. I'm like a little concerned that Edward is still a kiddo and his parents are both now elders. I'm a little concerned. I've never had a family. I don't know. I've never had a family like where the parents died before the kid was old enough to move out. So that's a little bit stressful. Um, can we do a prank day? Mischief. A uh, trick with a hand buzzer. God, don't kill anybody. You're gonna like shock her heart so bad she dies. Uh oh yeah because I believe teen lifespan is like 14 days um, and elders it's just kind of like when they die they die yep so number of days lived 93 and Melody is 94 wow Melody's bar is so much higher up than Veronica's. That's concerning. So, like, they're both kind of. That's gonna add the spices of trauma. Just a little bit. Here's the thing we already knew that Edward was gonna be a little art boy. Um, so, you know, every artist needs just a little bit, a little sprinkle of trauma. And, uh, Veronica, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So, the actor that does the new Veronica open the door like that, like junk, um, he actually posted that was like, no, guys, you have to leave the door shut. <laughs> Please. Also found out that the, oh, God damn it, Edward, what did you do? Yeah, I saw. Also found out. The original JD? The original JD is now queer and non-binary. So I'm so proud of them. Uh, that's super dope. Because I saw their post. I think I sent it to Elise. Um, but I'm going to have Edward clean this up. But I thought that that was super cool. Um, also, cause like, I don't, I grew up <laughs> with that version. I know nothing but hazards, but just the voice when he's singing this, amazing, you know? Like, yes, toxic, but damn. Oh my gosh. I highly recommend at least listening to the musical. Um,. Theater kids are queer? Damn. You okay, but the non-binary part, though. Like, on Broadway, non-binary? Like, that's not... You know. Mostly what I'm saying is good for them. Uh, but, wow, that actually... That sounds really lovely, Melody. Wait, I'm sorry. If theater kids are queer... I have been, oh my gosh, that reminds me. Who was gonna tell me I was queer? There was a, one of my coworkers, I think we were talking about, um, 
the like pressure um what is it surface pressure from Encanto um we were talking about that and like I like my coworker like couldn't remember how it started so I sang the like beginning and he, and they just stopped and looked at me and they go were you a theater kid I'm like what what part of me made you not think what am I doing wrong that makes you think for a second that I wasn't. So, anyway, that was an interaction that I had um, at work, which was just like, <laughs> like, obviously I'm doing something wrong. Like, no one's ever surprised that I'm queer, but a theater kid? Of fucking course. With as animated as I am, of course. Like, please. Um, someone's getting a phone call. Heather Chandler wants to hang out. She never calls to hang out. She's gonna poison me. Like, guarantee she's gonna poison me. Also, why isn't she old? I'm gonna say yes. Just because I want to know why she's not old. Um, they have Max relationship? Wait, hold on. He's got Max relationship? Oh, he's got Max relationship with Veronica. He's got almost Max with Melody. That's so good. That makes me so happy. Okay, there's Heather Chandler, who's just an adult. Okay, so she's going to turn to an elder soon. She's just like, she didn't even say hi. She just stomped into the bathroom to go and vent in the mirror. Okay. I was kind of a theater kid. We didn't really have theater like y'all have, but we had optional classes we could choose from. Summer expression of art, which was basically theater? Close enough, yeah. My school only did one musical a year, so some have like a spring play and a fall musical. Um, and we just had, we had a spring musical um, or I meant a fall play and a spring musical. We just had a spring musical, um, and so while I was in school, we did, um, we did Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, we did Adam's Family, and Into the Woods, and I graduated high school a year early, um, if I hadn't, they did the they did the spelling bee in what would have been my senior year. Um, we never did musicals. That's sad for me. Oh no! It's but it's like my favorite musicals are like really basic. Um, like I really I really like Legally Blonde. I really like Heather's. Hades Town is my all time favorite though. Um, I was not to brag or anything, but I was kind of. Uh, I kind of listened to Hades Town before it got on Broadway, so just saying. Um, <laughs> there is a. I was obsessed with Be More Chill. I just like Gil's so cool. Gil's so cool. Um, in Be More Chill, I just like Michael in the bathroom, and I like that first one. the The opening song is good too. But I like Michael in the bathroom because I'm a depressed bitch. So, of course I do. Lauren's so cool, too. Um, I liked Dear Evan Hansen for a spell, but the movie has kind of ruined it for me. Um, he's reading under the covers? This fucking nerd. Oh my god. This fucking nerd. Hey, if you want to prank somebody, why don't you come prank Heather? Um, we'll do a friendly introduction and then you can prank her all you want because she's not a great person. What the bitch? <laughs> I like two player game when they're like high school as shit. Yeah. Also the smartphone hour. I love going on the Samsung. The, what is it? Um, 
Let's save the pitiful children. I think it's just pitiful children is the name. That one's so good. Pitiful children makes me feel fucking strong, dude. Let's save the pitiful children. Whoa. It's just, it's very good. I need to watch some musicals. Do they have record stage versions of them? The only one I've found a good, decent stage recording of is Legally Blonde. Um, I watched it on Broadway. It was super good. Ooh. Yeah, I imagine so. I imagine so. I haven't seen one of those. I love the movie. So, oh yeah, if you just look up the Legally Blonde musical on YouTube, it should come up. Like, the full thing comes up. Um, as far as I know, it's been up for years. So as far as I know, YouTube still hasn't taken it down. Um, I'm just gonna have everyone prank. <laughs> um... Heather Chandler, because I think it's funny. Because this is a good way to get that. I'm so sad I was never able to see Anastasia on Broadway. I'm not a big Anastasia fan. I just could never get into it. Mickey Mouse! Um. No. There's one. It's not part of a full musical. It's like one of those like weird musical collective songs. Um, but I highly recommend... Uh, there's a song called So You Wanna Marry Daisy. And it is probably one of my favorite musical songs I've ever listened to. And it's part of a musical collective. It's not even part of a larger musical. Um, it's Bambi. like one of those, like, you, you write one song and, like, that's it. And it puts, and it gets put in an album. Um. <laughs> so, you wanna marry Daisy, oh, good luck with that. You've got about as much of a chance of looking through my mind. She's a purebred Head's worth about as much as your car. So let's just say your little bouquet won't get you very far. It's so good. I highly recommend it. I spend so much time walking around singing that song. So much time. Um, so I highly, highly recommend it. Singing stream? When? I don't... <laughs> I don't think I can do a singing stream. Um... <laughs> I don't know if I could do a singing stream. I don't know if I could sing consistently for that long. <laughs> but I appreciate it, right? Um... Song redeem? I might, I might put up a song redeem. Um... I just don't know how that would work because like people can request songs and I don't know if I'd know them. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. All right. It'll go in the notebook. It's going in the notebook. Hold on. Like I said, I'm really warm. In all fairness to me, I'm really warmed up today because I did a lot of singing in the shower. Um... Uh, your voice is very lovely, Gil. Thank you. I didn't get a lot of... I only recently figured out how to, like, sing and for it to be comfortable. Um, in high school, I did not get a lot of singing roles. I got a lot of speaking roles, though. Because I was good at acting. I was just not as good at stage singing. Because my voice really wanted to gravitate into throat and head instead of from chest. Um... And anyone who doesn't do a lot of singing has no idea what I'm talking about. But because of that, I strained my voice a lot. I've gotten a lot, a lot better. And sometimes we just have my my voice crack. Wait, we had a voice crack on stream. When was that? 
I think that was my lightning in a bottle. The... Because trying to get the next up bit. Okay, Heather, can you get out, please? Yeah, I don't know how to not strain, even though I've been singing for years. A lot of it is just... From what I find... Is that a lot of it is just... My, 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 I just want to like get up into soprano and I'm not a soprano. The fact of the matter is that I'm an, al I'm an alto. I've always been an alto. I'm never going to be a soprano. <laughs> um, but singing songs, almost all of them are designed for sopranos. It's part of the reason why I love surface pressure so much is because I can bop around and sing it. Who the hell is that? That's Peter Noir Parker. Sir, you're not wearing any clothes. Um. <laughs> Is that I can... Hey, nice warbo. You need to be wearing clothes, good sir. You cannot walk around in your boxers. Um. Oh, oh. Where is... I just need a suit. Um... There's a suit section, isn't there? Sort dresses. Like sets, maybe? Okay. Um... But yeah, so because of that, finding songs that are designed for my voice are really... It's really hard to get a hold of. There we go. That's a good one. Um... not wearing pants. Okay. 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 The rest of those are good. Um, oh -ho. But yeah, so like I said, that's part of the reason why I like Surface Pressure because it's in an actual freaking Disney song that's in an alto range. Um... Which is mwah, fantastic. And even like... Even in like, we don't talk about Bruno. There isn't like any super, super high parts. Yeah, it's hard to sing a lot of soprano songs. Yeah! And, but that's like... And a lot of the times I can't sing along to music either. Because my voice wants to mimic the voice of the person singing. So karaoke works out a lot better. Or not even karaoke, but acapella works out a lot better. Um, and it's like, even if the person's singing, like, even if their voice is lower than me, like, I still want to, like, match it specifically instead of singing in my voice. Um, so like I was making dinner yesterday and I was singing, I was singing from, I was singing a Hozier song actually. And I was like, oh, I don't remember the next line. Let me put it on. And suddenly like, I couldn't sing the song anymore as I was listening to him sing it. Um, so that was really interesting. Okay, cool. Uh, Heather, you can go now. Um, how do I get her to leave? Go away. Send home. There we go. Goodbye. Everybody's taking naps. Um. But yeah, so even like, so you want to marry Daisy? Like, if I'm listening to, um. If I'm if I'm listening to the audio for it, I don't think I sing it as well as singing it a cappella. And I don't know what about it shifts in my brain, but there's there's something. Where is my Do I have a trash can in here? No. I might just have to send Melody to go clean this up. Uh throw away. But yeah, no. I really like singing. I've recently gotten like back into singing quite a bit. 
Um, hey, look, it's Shaggy. Who almost fell over. Can I? No, I want to talk to Shaggy. No, I can't talk to him. Okay. Oh, that was knocked over. Okay. Oh, Shaggy, please. He doesn't want to talk to me. He doesn't... He doesn't want to talk to me. <sighs> anyway, we're gonna... Melody, I told you to clean this up. Please. Thank you. Is that someone special? No. Oh my gosh! This is Lily Caliente! Dude, so... Tony Stark... Married like one of the calientes and like I think this is his kid anyway I I love my fanfiction universe <laughs> dag, dag. but yes so Have an eye? Ah. she's why is she flirting with me you're a teenager abort abort goodbye say goodbye leave goodbye Goodbye. Go inside. <laughs> Go inside. The teenager's flirting with you. Nope. Go inside. Go inside. Now. Get inside. Ah. Chat with Veronica. Why outside? Why are you chatting with Veronica outside? We're just proving that we have a wife. <laughs> Leave us alone. Um. But yes, I will add song redeem <laughs> abort abort who's that that keegan harkins i don't think that that is a person but veronica decided to talk to him i guess what are you doing create a drawing there's so much cute stuff on this board i'm a big old fan i'm a big old fan Read a note. I want to see what the note says. <laughs> you don't have to add a song with you. No, but I think it could be fun. I think it could be a fun thing. I just don't think I can do the singing challenge like I used to do before. I took away the singing challenge because it was too hard on my voice. But I think I can do song redeem. I think that would be okay. It would just pro it's just probably going to be expensive. So there is there is that of course. Look at them. Look at these cuties. Edward, honey, have you done your homework? You have. Mr. Call it for Rye. Absolutely. Let me go. Let me go get it. I really need to get better about grabbing my cards before I start streaming. <laughs> I've got So You Wanna Marry Daisy stuck in my head now. Literally, everyone needs to go on their Spotify and check out that song because it's so good. So you wanna marry Daisy, yeah, well, good luck with that. Got about as much of a chance as licking the rim of my hat. She's a purebred, her forehead's worth about as much as your car. So let's just say your little bouquet won't get you very far And slow down there, the slick seam of sleeves are full of tricks You just say the word and I'll have you birds kissing at the Ritz And my price, it's nothing, it's cookie crumbs, more of a steal if you ask me In terms of condition, my friend, I Got three. Ooh, one congratulations, son. You've been promoted to private. I, I want a page a week on every word she speaks. And brother, don't ask why. Roll to see that window right above Mademoiselle's boudoir. Why won't you be a doll and unlock it? You gotta make a quick withdrawal and a small deposit. Who is that walking by? 
Who are you? Jonathan Charm. Hmm. I'm on the lookout for Sims that I added that I know. Because I want to interact with them. Because I added them in, in the last stream last, last week, the week before. Um, I want to interact with them, dang it. Okay. Mystic, call out for Rye, please. Uh, that's interesting. Cipri got this one on Monday, too. So I don't know if it's the same person. Um, because I know you and Cipri talk. But, um, this is the Seven of Swords. Someone's being a sneaky bitch behind your back. Um, and they're trying to get away with something. Um, and I think you know who it is. And you know what I'm talking about. Um, or like you've had a weird gut feeling. Yeah, your your gut's right. I, I would trust your gut on this one, my dear. Um, because yeah, someone's someone's being a sneaky bitch. We don't we don't like that. We don't stand for that shit. Um, I don't think this is something that would like destroy the relationship that you have with this person. But um, Lamau, yes, actually, yesterday, uh huh. Yeah, so, um, your gut feeling's right, you're validated, like, uh, sure, Melody, you can like the guitar. You're validated, you're, you're correct, you're in the right, that person was being sneaky, um, so. <laughs> there you go, my dear, there's your mystic callout. It's not really a callout, it's just a, yes, you were, in fact, correct. Um, th thank you. You're very welcome. Um, I'm going to set a quick timer for stream because stream has to end early today. So I'm going to set a quick timer for myself. Um, so that I don't get, uh, carried away. Um, because I do have to make that appointment. It's kind of important. So, making me feel better, TVH. I am glad that I'm able to do that for you, my dear. I'm really glad I'm able to do that for you. Um, so we're doing midnight snack, Edward? Okay. Eating some good, good food. Ham dinner. Mystic call it for Pidge. Absolutely, my dear. Ooh! Four of Wands. Honey, we are coming into some major stability. Being a slight exception for once. You, we are coming into some stability. Some, like, real stability. Um, like, four of wands, like, that's like four posts in a square. Like, you're coming into some good stability. Um, don't get restless because things are stable. Because I know sometimes, um... Edward, go to bed. I know sometimes things get stable and so we get restless because, you know, because either you're like waiting for things to become unstable or you feel like you should be doing more because things are okay. Like, it's okay to chill out um, and just accept the fact that like things are stable. That's cool. Take this break, take this breather Trust me, things will be unstable again. And if you take the time right now to take care of yourself, um, things will uh, things will be a lot easier when they do become unstable again. So that's the uh, that's the call out. I feel confused. Why confused? It might not be that you're stable now that you're coming into stability. Um. I have been bamboozled. Some of them are a little tricky. They can't all be winners. That's alright. 
Uh, Veronica Honey. Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Ah! Okay, so... Yeah, Edward's birthday's on Thursday. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. What's going on, Pidge? level 10 of creativity skill oh wow it's like really close make spring crafts do it before school yes 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 why is what's dirty I don't understand what's dirty no it's just I have heard some major bad news about a close relative of us so this kind of threw me off oh Okay. I pulled a secondary card for you, my dear. Um, and it's the Five of Cups in reverse. So I'm going to say that this card is related to everything except that. Um, that. Because Five of Cups in reverse has to do with not focusing on the bad in favor of the good. Um. So it might just be that because the bad is so bad right now, that this is the exception. Obviously, it doesn't need to, like, it's not going to rub salt into a wound, you know. This is just the experience outside of that. Um. That's, yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Um. That this was chosen... I find that when you get Mystic Callouts Pidge, it's usually something that's more comforting than a callout. And I think that's what this was more meant to be. Yeah. Even looking at this now and knowing that, it might just be that it's permission that things are stable enough that it's permission to deal with this. Um however you need to. So, I don't usually pull a second card, but it was weird that that card would come out and then this would and then that's what's happening. So, I think that clarifies things a little bit. It's so like I said, 4 of wands is stability and that was your first card, and 5 of cups in reverse has to do with again choosing to look on the bright side which is like not to say like toxic optimism right or toxic positivity just in a attempt to be comforting the cards are actually being quite nice to you they're never this nice to me what the fuck <laughs> my god why are we screaming Ah, I now see why this is the disgusting thing. Clean lightly. Sure. Did you eat something, my dear? Yes, good. What time is school? I guess the universe doesn't want to kick me again. Yeah, sometimes it just doesn't want to hit us while we're down. Which, like, you know what? I will take it. Fair enough. Because, <laughs> you know, some of those mystic callouts get vicious. Um. Can we offer legal representation to our wife? Um. Yeah. I feel like we'd definitely support our wife if she was having a legal dispute.
Yes, bathroom meeting. Uh, yeah, Veronica's gonna go to work. Um, no, but most of my feelings on this are about half of my younger cousin. We grew up close, like siblings. Not like on my end, per se. I mean, that still takes an emotional toll on us, I think. When we care for another, right? There's still a certain level of, you know. And our brain sometimes can't differentiate empathy from our own emotions. So taking that into account as well. Ah, they're so in love. You're supposed to be offering legal representation to your wife. What are you doing? You need this for your career. There. Okay, new client obtained. Oh, you have to offer legal representation to many people on the street. This is how we're going to meet neighbors. Ooh, look, who are you? Hello. It's Inigo Montoya. Yes, you will be in need of legal representation. Hi, hello, I'm Veronica Sawyer, attorney at law. New client, my wife. <laughs> no, Inigo Montoya didn't want our legal representation. That's so upsetting. It's time to it's time to go to work, my dear. Okay, and Melody's got work in five hours. So how are we looking here? Write four songs. Did she start another song? Yes. Resume. But thanks for the reading, it did help. I am always happy to do it, my dear. Some special, 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 special second card, too. Look at you go. Who's that? Oh, it's Wylan! Wylan in his little apron. That's adorable. Hey, it's Peppa Pig! Peppa Pig's fucking terrifying. She's so scary. She's so scary. What is she doing? Just, okay. I am gonna stop writing a song, go introduce myself to Peppa Pig so that we can invite her over later to meet Edward. That apron looked nice, it did. Don't then talk to the child about classical music. Who's on their bike right now? Just like in the road. We should get bikes. We should get bikes. I forget that bikes are a thing. Also, that's like actually really nice. They're like actually riding a bike on the sidewalk. The Sims has literally added so much stuff. Like it's insane. Can we take his bike? Melody does not own this item, but I could. Razor Gaming 1017, welcome on in. Thank you so much for the follow, my guy. I hope that you're enjoying the stream. Here I was thinking that Veronica would offer Peppa legal representation. I think she should. I think she absolutely should offer Peppa Pig. Rename bicycle, my bike. Ride bike. It's not our bike, but it's ours now. I just want to ride it onto my property. No! What happens if we just want to ride the bike around? I just want to ride on my bike. Exactly! Because it, it's my bike now. Is this the guy we took the bike from? Resolution complete! Oh, Edward became a better student! Look, there she goes! Living her best life! Is this the guy who had the bike? No, I don't think so. Look, if this guy has multiple bikes, then I feel like us taking the bike is not that big a deal. She's getting good exercise. 
Hey, y'all want to know what I just realized? Um, you're not supposed to make elders exercise because then they can die of exhaustion. A grand bike theft, exactly. So we're just gonna stop riding the bike and go back. Because <laughs> elders can die from, from, from exercising from exhaustion. Did she put the bike in her inventory? Wait, did now she take the bike? Did she take the bike now? Or did it just disappear? I think it just disappeared. Ah, boo. Oh my god, elders can die from biking. They can die, it's not necessarily from biking. They can die from, like, exercising too much. And then they'll die of exhaustion. I killed one of my Sims' uh, husbands that way. Is I just made him uh <laughs> I just made him exercise over and over and over again so that he'd die <laughs> I don't remember why I wanted him dead but that's what I that's what I did <laughs> yeah I don't remember why I wanted him dead I think I was just done with the legacy maybe I don't know. We should probably clean up the decorations. Take down the decorations. There we go. Oh yeah, it's spring. We should probably clean up our Christmas decorations. <laughs> don't really need these anymore. Nope. Okay. There we go. The stuff in... Edward's room is going to stay up, though. But I think that was everything. Oh, no, this wreath. Okay. We... I thought we put up way more decorations than that, but I guess not. Whoopsie doodles. That's all right. How are we doing, Emily? Emily? Who the fuck is Emily? <laughs> Who the fuck is Emily? Melody. How are things, Melody? Melody. I don't know who Emily is. I don't even know an Emily. <laughs> what is happening? What's in my tea? Okay. I got a burglar once in this game and never really played again. <laughs> That'll do it. Yep. There are burglars in Sims? Yep. In like Sims 2 there were. I don't know if they're in Sims 4. At least in the first ones. Yeah, there was a burglar there were burglars in Sims 1 and Sims 2. Oh my gosh, Nessie! Um Oh shoot, do you have work? Babe, go to work. Um Yeah, there were burglars in Sims 1 and Sims 2. Um and oh Edward, yeah, go invite your Aunt Nessie in. We love Nessie. Help fix bad relationship. Bad relationship with who? With Elle Woods? What? This child is not doing emotional labor for grown women. But, like, what the heck? Um. Yeah, it was The Sims 2, and it traumatized me for real. Like, IRL, I would make sure all the doors were locked properly Eve, every night. Yeah, that'll... That'll do it. I once was writing a, uh, a script for one of my classes. Oh, he's got a school project! Ooh, how fun! Someone will have to help him with that. Who do you think Nessie will help? Um. No, when I was... I had to write a script for a class, for one of my film classes, and I wrote about a break-in, and I scared myself so bad that I had to wait for my roommate to get home before I could finish writing it. Because I made myself so paranoid with my writing. I, I don't know how I managed that. Um, start working carefully. No, guilt, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Veronica's home. Who's on the phone? A food fight? Edward started a food fight in the cafeteria, causing most of the students to join in. We're still cleaning up. What a natural leader. That's what I was going to say, like, legit. Empathy increases, responsibility decreases. That's fine. He's fine. Um, let's assist him with the project. 
Because Veronica helped with the other one, too, and they did really well. Together. Brought home $416. Responsibility. Oh, what? Is in the range to earn the responsible trait. Okay. Edward's responsibility fell out of the range to earn the responsibility trait. Whoopsie daisies. Where is it? Where do I find that, actually? Here we go. He's got great manners. He's got pretty good responsibility. Not all the way, but he's got great manners. He has very little emotional control. Very little empathy and no conflict resolution. I really am raising a, a man, aren't I? Okay. <laughs> oh no! No, I was supposed to be better than this. Is Nessie in there? She's in there playing with Edward's toys. That's fine. Oof. <laughs> uh, Heather Duke wants us to... No, I don't think we will. I'm busy helping my son with his project. Oh, Edward got to level 10 creativity. Nice. He can now gain piano and violin skills. Yeah, but I want him to be an artiste. With the painting. All right, we're gonna finish this school project. See how it goes. Um, I really thought we were doing a better job of raising Edward. That's fine. Oh, now it's back in the range to earn the responsible trait. Now he's back in the range. And he acquired, uh, no, actually, wait. Veronica acquired the painting skill. And he got extra credit and Nessie left, okay. Ooh, that's actually really cute. Hold on. Look at how cu cute that is. That's like legit really cute. Edward, honey, you should be so proud. Here, come stand next to your project. Come stand, come stand next to your project. I want to take a picture. Come here. Come here. Come here, I don't care. You're facing the wrong way. You're facing the wrong way. Come on. You're facing the wrong way. Come on. No, come on. Look normal for me for a second so I can take this. Do not walk anywhere. I don't care how hungry you are. We're getting a nice picture. Can he take a selfie, actually? I know that's a thing in The Sims. I mean, he's a kid, so I don't know if he can. Take selfie, yes. I want his thing in the frame, though. Hold on. No, I want your stupid... I want your stupid project in the background. This sucks. Melody, come take a picture. Or, this isn't Melody. This is Veronica. Veronica, come take a picture. Don't. Edward, don't you move. Okay, Veronica, you're gonna take a photo. Good God. This should not be as difficult as it is. Oh, the orientation's all messed up! Nope. You have to back up. You have to back up. You have to go, like, here. This is the worst. Wait, I can't remember. I told you I was playing for Zhang for uh, Zhongli, right? Face the right way, my dude. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry. I'm very invested in this. I'm... Did you get him? Did you get him, Rai? I wasn't pulling for Geodaddy. I was pulling for... Um... I obtained the Geodaddy. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I'm so proud of you. Finally! If we switch the orientation, can we get both of them? I think it makes more sense to do it like this. Okay. 
But yeah, oh my gosh, babe, congrats. Congrats, congrats. How are you liking him? And put a filter on it. Oh, that's cute. Wait, this one's really cute. I want this one in another orientation. Yes, cute. Okay, I'm trying to spend money on getting Geo Daddy, but see, I wasn't pulling for Geo Daddy. I was pulling for um the other one. Fuck, who was I pulling for? I don't remember. So much better than Noelle's. I love her though. Ganyu. Yeah, I was pulling for Ganyu. Is are those banners still up? I should do them uh, before they end. I don't think they're up still. I think they're. I think they ended like yesterday, right? They ended a while ago, I feel like. Who the hell is this? Will? I don't know a Will. What do you want? Send home. Goodbye. Sell it for six days. Okay, cool. I've got time. I've got time. Veronica, like, wanted to be a friend of the world, and I'm like, mm mm mm. Oh, no, no, no. You're gonna be... <laughs> Added a sentiment. Legal client. <laughs> Melody is... They're, they're soulmates. They're spouses. They're best friends. Legal client. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> sure, what's your Facebook relationship status? Legal client. <laughs> All right, Edward, honey, why don't you go ahead, get some leftovers. Uh, I'm going to have Veronica clean that up. I want... <laughs> Mom, Dad, I'd like you to meet my legal client. <laughs> legal client and also soulmates. <laughs> See, I get really weirded out by like... With, with me personally, my gender identity, girlfriend doesn't feel right, boyfriend doesn't feel right, and partner feels weirdly formal, but legal client. I want to be somebody's legal client. <laughs> we should get a trash can in the kitchen. I don't know why we don't have one yet. <laughs> to make legal client the new norm. I think we should. <laughs> yeah, this works. This is great. <laughs> Are you legal clients or legal clients? <laughs> Go ahead, use that, take a shower, do some extra credit work, and then you can go to bed. Melody, welcome home, my dear. Oh, she's so sleepy. She's so sleepy. Kiss your wife hello. Give her a good old-fashioned embrace, and I'll have you shower, and then you can go to sleep. Ooh, she's stinky. What? Why didn't she take a shower? I don't know why she didn't go take a shower, but I guess she'll take one in the morning. He's laughing about homework. What a nerd. Um, let's see. So he's back in the range for responsibility, but again, no conflict resolution, no empathy, no emotional control. <sighs> That's fine. He also, he has to draw the final type. A monster. Ooh, he can draw monsters now. Wow. He's going to be a little sleepy at school tomorrow, but that's okay. We're just going to do a little bit extra credit work. I want to get him up to an A student. 
Can we get him up to an A+. Plus? I think we can. Complete the extra credit. Good, good, good. Do this. Just because I'd like him to... And then you can go to sleep after you finish doing this. Um... Because I think that's the last... No, this is two of three. Wait, two of three or three of three? Two of three, yeah. Okay. Has completed the artistic prodigy. Oh, he's just an artistic prodigy now. Creatively gil gifted? Wow! What kind of monster did he draw? Oh, hold on. <laughs> okay, I didn't want to sneeze right in the mic, sorry. What kind of monster did he draw? Oh, how cute! It's macaroni art! It's macaroni art! It's a macaroni dinosaur! I love. I love. Did you thank you? This is so cute. So stinking cute. Ooh, by the way, I talked about this briefly on the Discord, um, but if anybody's got any emote suggestions, I'd love to hear them um, because Twitch expanded the emotes that you can have at any given time. Um, one of the things is the free follower emote. Um, and for that one, I'm considering, um, I don't know which one you guys would want as the free follower emote. Um, what you think is fair. Maybe I make a new one. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, I would love to hear them because frankly, I am at a loss. Um, I'm not sure, uh, what I should, uh, what I should make. So... Please, 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 if you, if you have any... I vote for Jasper being the free follower emote. That's what I was kind of thinking. Um, it's a good, good emote that people really, really like. So, <laughs> because Jasper, because Jasper. Melody, honey, go back to sleep. <clears throat> Jasper. Hi! And that way I, we wouldn't have to keep <laughs> giving Nightbot subs to do that one. Ooh, yeah, 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 Jasper. Alright, we'll make Jasper the free emote then. I know Pidge suggested a uh, Wilbert emote as well for a sub emote. Um, so I'll be working on that, on digitizing Wilbert. <laughs> um, oh my god, yes. I'll be digitizing Wilbert um, over the weekend, probably, so that probably won't be put into play until Monday. Um, so that's in the works as well. Um, we'll see what else. Um, I'm debating a Sherlock emote um, as well, just because. Um, it's interesting because we hate Sherlock in The Sims, but we like Sherlock in the Sherlock game. Um, Pride Pog <laughs> is the cutest emote. I'll have to look at it. Uh, Veronica is going to go to work, yes. Veronica needs to offer legal representation to this child. This child is blue. I don't know why this child is blue. This is another one of the Caliente children. And this Caliente child is blue. I don't know why. Hey, Veronica, could you go faster, please, to offer... Okay, I guess we're not offering that child legal representation. What about this one? Renee Eller, a teenager who clearly would require some legal representation. <laughs> Hi, can I offer you some legal representation? Oh my god, it's another flirty teenager! Run away! Run away. No, 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 no. Go back inside. Why are there so many flirty teenagers in our neighborhood? Ah! 
They gave LGBT emotes for a while when you bought bits or subs? Oh, cute. So I collected most of them? Run from the hormones. I don't know why the teenagers keep flirting with me. It's not appropriate and it makes me really uncomfortable. Please stop. Uh. Um. <laughs> uh, Melody, you go ahead and eat something. Oh, she woke up feeling very inspired. Great. We will work on our song today. Escape the teens! Escape. Alright. Bye, Veronica. Have a good day. Oh, Edward left, too. Edward went to school. I hope he ate something beforehand, because... Oh, she's not even gonna eat? She just wants to go straight to working? Okay, Melody. That's your choice, my dear. Our power went out! Um... I always forget to pay the bills. Uh, show Bill's information. Wait, I want to pay them, though. Pay Bill's. $2,000! It's not... that. That's okay. Uh, hi, Gil! How's it going? Oh, welcome on in! It's, it's going alright. It's going... It's going a-okay. How about yourself? I saw... I saw that you were... You streamed last night at, like... It was, like, 2 a.m. my time. <laughs> So I'm sorry I didn't pop in, but I appreciate having you here. Welcome, welcome. We're just doing our, uh, we're just doing our Sims playthrough. We've got our little, uh, fan fiction-esque world. That was, oh no, Lamel, that was an accidental stream. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, I got the notification on my phone and I was like, you know what? To each their own, man. Um... Eat the jam crumpet. Um, yeah, so this is our Sims 4 fan fiction world. Um, so I've imported a bunch of characters from different pop culture items. We've got Marvel superheroes, Scooby-Doo, book characters. The Teletubbies are somewhere around here. Um, and they just, and as well as the MC Command Center mod, which causes random events to happen. So these Sims from like pop culture, like get in fights and hate each other and get married and have kids and all this other stuff and it makes things really interesting um so that's what we're up to right now i'm sorry the teletubbies are here too uh they are now um they are now we should go meet the teletubbies not the teletubbies <laughs> Ooh, fun and chaotic i love it thank you it's the the sims um <laughs> This this Sims playthrough is probably one of my favorites. Melody, you can't be just doing setups whenever you want now. You're old. Um, so Melody is our first, uh, was our main Sim. Uh, look, it's Luna Hex from the Hex Girls. Um, <laughs> so just like shit like this. I am a very big, very big fan. Someone's not wearing a shirt. Yennefer is not wearing a shirt. Hold on. This happens a lot. Um... <laughs> So, Melody was our first sim. Uh, she's the one that I just made. Siri doesn't have hair! Okay, hold on. I have to go and fix a lot of this. Um, Siri doesn't have hair. She's got a long, like, braid. Can we... There we go. She's blonde, please. Um... I think she's that blonde. And she's like she's got blonde eyebrows too. Okay. She needs some good good pants, please. Uh do, 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 do. she needs pants. Just like I don't Do these come in brown? Yeah, that works for her, I guess. I just want to make sure- gosh darn it! She really just has, like, no clothes! I should have probably checked this before we started, but that's okay. Alright, I'm just tossing them in whatever. Okay, that's fine. Uh... 
I'm just tossing them in whatever. You just can't be walking around naked, my dear. Uh, we're gonna do that. Nope, just walking naked. Um, that's fine. Throw on some flip flops. Pants in this economy? You're right. How silly of me. Hmm. Now, Yennefer wasn't wearing a top. Yes, Yennefer's built. <laughs> oh my gosh, she did not start out that way. Okay, that's good. That's good. Nope, she doesn't have any sleepwear. Yeah, fucking stacked, bro. A multiverse. Yeah, essentially. That's that's a really good way of putting it, right? I like that. I always struggle with how to um describe it. Yeah, Yen would wear that. Um with how to describe it. Her hair disappeared. We'll put her in a really fancy updo. Um, this. She would wear this, I think. Um. And this in black. And. Ah. That one. And. That one. Sure. Okay. Is Geralt wearing clothes? Geralt, you have to. I mean, he doesn't have to wear a shirt. How many shirts do we really want to put him in? Because, um, I don't know, man. I think that if Geralt wants to walk around shirtless, he can. Like, no one's... I'm not going to stop him. You know? Um, I mean... Yeah, I think in this universe, Geralt walks around topless. Jasker, on the other hand, is a little twink boy who needs to wear clothes. Please, not the RAR. <laughs> Jasper? Jaskier would wear... I just said Jasper. That's my cat, not... Not the character. Um, we're like that, I guess. RAR. <laughs> it's dinosaur fur. I love you. Oh my god. He's just, I just want him to look like a twink, because that's what he is. You gotta wear pants. What's the boy doing? We are in the roaring 20s. Exactly. Exactly. You get it. What's the boy doing? He's over here asleep. There he is. I don't know if y'all can see him or not. Um, but he's just on the couch. Oh my god, a baby. There he is. Hi, honey. He's just sleeping. Um, I'll snag him before uh, the end of stream, unless someone wants to redeem uh, for the baby. But otherwise, I'm gonna let him sleep because I did. I did fully wake him up earlier um, when I got home. So yeah, he'd wear that. Yep. That tracks. You have to wear a coat. Yep. Yep. Alright, that looks good to me. Now everyone is clothed properly. <laughs> Which is very important. Always wear proper clothing. Always wear proper clothing whenever necessary. It's very important to the overall well-being of yourself and the people around you in your community um anyway yes this is melody she is our she was our first sim we made her um she's adorable and we love her and now she's an elder she married veronica sawyer uh who from heathers who is now a lawyer so it's Veronica Sawyer, the lawyer, attorney at law. Um, and together they adopted um, Edward. Uh, and we love Edward very much. And he's going to be the next one that we focus on. We're going to take him to university once he's old enough. Um, so 
Very excited. Veronica's, or not Veronica's, um, Melody's like love history is incredible. She dated Sherlock Holmes for a while. I feel like it was eons ago when Melody was dating Sherlock, right? She was dating Sherlock Holmes for a while, but he like cheated on her. Um, like we, okay, okay. Fox, I'm just gonna give you the rundown, okay? <laughs> of like the drama. So, Melody started dating Sherlock because they were neighbors, so they ran into each other a lot. This wasn't even the first person that she dated, but this was the most substantial. Before that, she had dated Su Sarah and Summer. Um, she hadn't really either even dated either of them. They were just kind of like, they went on a couple dates, they saw each other for a little bit, it didn't work out, right? Sarah in particular was rude as fuck. Um, <laughs> so we started going out with Sherlock because he was our neighbor. And what we do is we go out to brunch with our girls, the Loch Ness Monster, Jester from Critical Role, <laughs> and Elle Woods. So we go out to brunch with our girls, and in walks Sherlock with some other bitch. <laughs> having... Oh my god! Heather Chandler just asked us out on a date. This is the kind of shit that happens, Fox. Um, but <laughs> no, I'm married. Also, you came over for like two seconds and we were just mean to you. I just spit everywhere. <laughs> what about legal client? <laughs> um, so, so... Melody truly living doubt why in life. Absolutely, dude. So, Sherlock walks in with some other bitch, okay? And, like, we just hang out. We step back, we watch, you know? And he, like, leaves with her, right? We call her up. We're like, yo, do you want to come over? She says yes. She never shows up. So we go down, we're talking to other people, we're working on our snow globe collection, we go back up, and she's there snooping through our shit. She's there snooping! <sighs> and then Sherlock, like, defended her. So we broke up with him. It was very messy. It was very, very messy. And so we decided to move. And when we moved... Veronica and the Heathers were our new neighbors. Um, and we fell in love with Veronica instantly. We immediately clicked. They had a New Year's kiss. It was incredible, right? They get engaged. Sherlock fucking dies. He dies of old age. And we're like, uh-uh. So we cheat him back to life. <laughs> and on our wedding day, we marry Veronica. And then using the Extreme Violence Sims mod, um... We dropped a helicopter on top of Sherlock and murdered him. It was great. It was fantastic. Um, I think that catches you up for the most part, but... <laughs> That's just... And this has been over the course. I think we've been doing this series for about five months or so. The layers here are so, so much. It's so, so good. It's so much fun. Oh my god! Wait, I forgot! Sherlock was married! Sherlock was married to Fennec Brute from The Princess Bride. And we broke their marriage up so we could date Sherlock. And then we invited his ex-husband to the wedding. Where we murdered Sherlock! He was there! <laughs> the tea is hot. The tea is so much fun. It's it's why I love this series. Um, it's so much fun. Uh, Edward, honey, what's going on? Sick with worry. It's test day and Edward is so nervous he totally blanks. Even copying his neighbor won't work because his neighbor is a D student! What to do? Feign illness or just take some deep breaths? Take some deep breaths, honey. You got this. You're gonna do great. Edward tries to quell the anxiety by taking big, deep breaths. And what do you know? It works! Sure, his classmates shoot him some funny looks, but when you're an A student, you have to take every test seriously. Good for you, honey. Um, but yeah, I think that, that mostly catches up the tea on Melody's dating life. 
Oh, also Santa Claus is in love with both Melody and her wife, Veronica. Um. So. Ah, yes. Thank you, Pidge. Um, Fox, if you're interested, that is the clip of, uh, <laughs> that is the clip of us killing Sherlock by crashing a helicopter into him, uh, if you're at all curious. <laughs> It is sprinting over to watch it, okay? <laughs> it is. I love this series so much. Playing it is so much fun. Because, yeah, so much happens. And it's all organic. Um, like, it's all organically done from the mod. MC Command Center is literally one of my favorite mods. Not enough exercise. You can't exercise, hun. You're gonna... <laughs> you will die. You will die. You can't exercise. I'm sorry. Go to work. <laughs> Who's that walking by? Fred Jones! Hi, Edward, honey. Welcome home. It appears that Edward is having problems with the alphabet. He can't seem to get past A. Kudos. Good job. Good job, Edward, honey. So proud of you. Let's go in and do our home. Oh, you're stressed out. Hard day at school. Okay. Well, why don't you sit down, watch some TV for a bit. Absolutely dunked on him. abso freaking lootly dude. abso freaking lootly Bro, you've got no, like... <laughs> and we had been building to that moment. It took us like two and a half hours to figure out how to cheat Sherlock back to life. And we didn't even do it on stream. I had to keep working on it off stream. <laughs> to get it done um because it just didn't work oh he's doing his homework anyway even though he's tense oh honey oh why are we sad shared sadness from someone feeling bad why does melody feel bad missing family what you you spent all day with your family what the heck the helicopter please the helicopter that was voted on the discord People voted for the helicopter. It was either going to be that or a lightsaber. Um, and helicopter won. So <laughs> that's how we killed him. Uh, Edward, honey, do you want to do the extra credit? Um, no, honestly, you've done enough. Do you want to do some art, maybe? Um, I mean, I don't think he can actually gain the... Yeah, he's at top creativity, but that just means that he can learn guitar and violin. It doesn't mean he can learn painting until he's a teen. All right, we'll go ahead and do some channel surfing, my dear. Oh, yes, I remember that vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was just its own thing. Just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um... <laughs> Uh, what are we- oh, do you want to- why don't you come, uh, sit and watch TV with your kid? Edward, honey, do you want to sit on the couch with your mom? Okay. Uh, but no, that was a lot, lot of fun. So much good, good tea. Um. <laughs> missing toy. I was thinking about one of my favorite toys and can't find it. I'm starting to miss it and feel sad. Keep looking for it or play with it. Uh, let's keep looking for it. Like, I will help you. Responsibility increases. Emotional control decreases. Dang it. I really am raising a man. I'm so upset. He's got great manners, great responsibility, no emotional control, very little empathy, and no conflict resolution. Like, huh, I wanted to do better. <laughs> I wanted to do better. Uh, go ahead, get some leftovers. I love that higher staff is an option. Like, he just lives in this regular house. Oh, Aunt Nessie wants to come over. Absolutely. Hi, Aunt Nessie. Oh, she's feeling sad. Uh, I'm really raising a man. Please, I'm cackling. <laughs> I am, though. It's what not... do you think, Wackus Bonkers? Kill them. Who? You 
Naughty wackers bonkers. Thank you, Rye. For Sherlock. <laughs> That's how it was. It's literally like me. What do you think, wackus bonkus? And then chat, kill him. Ooh, you naughty wackus bonkus. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> activated dude that is one of my favorite tiktok sounds that have ever graced this earth um like easily 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 it's the oof for me yes there's more soup there is in fact more soup it's the oof for me yes exactly oh my god fox you get it you get it. <laughs> it is. It's the ooh. like that. Mm. It's good. It's good. 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 It's good. 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 That 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 good. Good neurodivergent brain brain scritch. I like it. I like it a lot. Funny TikTok audio makes autistic brain go brr. Exactly. Yes. What's happening? Oh my god. Resolution complete. She got a promotion. <coughs> the camera panned to her. And I thought she was dying. <sighs> I just saw my life flash before my eyes. <laughs> I thought she was dying. <sighs> She's not. She's fine. Uh, promoted to instrumental wonder. That she is. Okay. Good lord. Alright, that's level 9 in her career. So she's almost at level 10. Uh, I thought she was dying. Bro, I was... I was about to be so freaking sad, dude. I was about to be so sad. Did she get tan? Why the heck is Melody so tan right now? She is not- okay. I am not sure- why is there garbage on the- what are you- Nessie! Okay. It's the dress. Is it the dress? Like, does she not look like way tanner than she usually does? Here, get changed. Um, yeah, get changed real quick. No, she just like, she's just really tan now? Is that a thing in The Sims? Can your Sims get tan? I did not make her that tan. That's so weird. That's so weird. I could have sworn I didn't make her that tan. That's okay. I'm just like... Huh. Okay. Um, alright. Honey, you go ahead. You go to sleep. Uh, Edward, honey, you also go to sleep. And you go to the bathroom. And then go to sleep. Ready, set, go! Oh yeah, we should probably send Nessie home, huh? Um, hey Nessie, honey, do you wanna go home, maybe? Nessie? Nessie? Do you wanna, do you wanna go home? All right, I'm gonna send her home. Um, I believe, here we go, sim commands. Um. No, maybe it's not. What is it? Is it MC Control? No. I don't remember what it is. Go away, Nessie. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> that sped up so fast. Okay. Um. So we're gonna do a cheeky little save and exit. Um, because... 
we are getting towards the end of stream here. Um, I'm having to end a little bit early because my stupid appointment that I thought I made on Tuesday, but instead got made on Wednesday. I told you, I like had it written in my planner and everything for... Mm. Um, I don't have to leave right now, right now. Uh, we've got like five minutes. So what I'm thinking is that we can play probably about a round of GeoGuessr before we finish up. Uh, I just didn't want to start another day in The Sims. Um, so I'm going to get that. If people are feeling that, then I'll get that set up. GeoGuessr? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, Geo. Yes, sir. Here we go. Uh, da, 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 do, 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 Okie dokie. Let's get this set up for y'all. Still gonna say, thank you for the stream, Gil. You really made my day better, so thank you so much. All right. That's so sweet, my dear. Of course. I'm glad I could stop by. Oh, that's very sweet, Fox. I'm really glad that you've that you've enjoyed yourself. Um here. That means a lot. All I ever try to do is just I like I like being a uh it's not coming up. Come on, give me GeoGuessr. I, I like being a, a a a cool a cool person for people to to interact with and to just just hang out with. That's that's just you know that's the vibe, right? There it is done. Um, that's the vibe. Vibes are very cozy. Oh my gosh, that's like legitimately the highest compliment for me. Cause again, that's all I ever want to be. I just want to be cozy. I just, I just want to have them good, good vibes. It's like being at your friend's place and hanging out. Right, that's what you said on Monday, and I'm still thinking about that compliment. Like, no joke, I'm still thinking about that compliment. Why did my just chatting screen break? Has the chat not been running? On my... <laughs> Wait a second, why is the... Where did my chat box go? Uh, I know I said it, I still think so. Well, thank you. It was on the game screen? Okay. My chat box broke. <laughs> awesome. It's the end of stream. It's not that big a deal. Let's play some quick, quick GeoGuessr. Um, we can play like a... Excuse you. We can play like... We can play a quick, uh, we'll play a quick game. And then I gotta bounce. It's an online appointment, so it's, like, not that big a deal if I'm, like, a little bit late. Okay. Start game. Let's see. What we got? Ooh. 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 Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, one. Oh, one. Is that... Wait, what side of the road are they driving on? The wrong side. The wrong side. Okay, England? It's English. England English? Oh, wow, great. Gla glad the construction's over. Bentley, fire supplies, I'm just say reclamation. Let's see. The wrong side. It is the wrong side. To me, it's the wrong side. We are in Antarctica. Pidge, you're supposed to be like you 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 know the things. .co.uk. Okay, we are in the UK. Um so really no matter what I click, it's going to be close, right? I'm going to say north, we're near Manchester, like right here. Yes. Nope, we were near Newport. That's fine. See, no matter where it is in the UK, it's going to be close because the UK's tiny. Okay. Go away, map. Wow, I guess <laughs> that building, not allowed. Okay, that sign's weird, so I don't think we're in the U.S. of A. I don't know why I'm not allowed to see this building. That's quite strange. Um, 
Let's see. Uh, still pretty good. I certainly think so. We've There's been a couple times we've been, like, within a block of the spot. I don't think we've ever been perfectly on top, though. This is just someone's neighborhood. This is not helpful. Okay. Can I get street signs? They're blue. I think that means we're in the UK again. What language are the street signs in? Excuse. Europe, maybe? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Howdy, hey, Razor Gaming. Welcome on in. Holzer? Is that... Yeah, Germany? Is that... That's not Dutch, Pidge. I don't think so. The blurred car plates were white. Germany, maybe? Okay. Or Austria? We can do, like, the border. By Munich. Uh, Germany, yeah, yeah, I think so. Maybe Poland? Oh, gosh. See, now I've got, like... <laughs> All right, we'll look. We'll look for some more, some more clues. What else we got? Let's see. There's a train right in the middle of the road. I just want to see. Def not Polish. It's German. Okay. Um, dot D E. Isn't that Denmark? The ending of this, or maybe that's www.mobile something. German is that a place or is that a language here's the thing the reason that it's <laughs> the reason that it's fun to play GeoGuess with me is that I failed is German in German ah okay <laughs> GeoGuessr is fun to play with me because I failed geography twice in high school um so that's why we DK is Denmark yeah and I'm also a filthy American, so I know nothing. I'm gonna say we're in Hamburg, because I think that town's funny. Uh, we were in Dortmund. DK is Denmark. That makes more sense. Alright, what are we looking at? That's the wrong side of the road. Wow, we've got a lot of Europe locations today. And Aldi's? And uh, excuse- no, I want to go on this road. I can't go on this road? What? What the fuck? What? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Did I go back in time? What? <laughs> This is 2021. According to this, this is Clifton. <laughs> when is this one doesn't have a... Wait, what's the... Give me the watermark! <laughs> okay, I have no idea. We're on the wrong side of the road, so it's somewhere in Europe. We've got this Gateway Plaza. Leopold. Leopold is in... That's a place. Leopold is a place. Okay, who used plane ship? Yeah, right? What sorcery is this? That's a clipping. Thank you, Fox. <laughs> Leopold is a place, correct? In somewhere? I want to say the UK, but... Gateway Plaza, yeah, Leopold. Where is it, though? Where is it? I'm just hitting smack dab in the UK. <laughs> it was Australia! <laughs> Whoopsie doodles! That explains the weird glitch, though, because I imagine that's what driving through Australia is like. <laughs> Alright, what we got? Um, Keluar. Um, ATM Centre? Is this... Um... Uh, I do not recognize that language, actually. Are links allowed in chat? If it is a clip... If it's a clip, if it starts with www.clip, 
twitch like if it's a clip link then it should be okay yeah <laughs> thank you fox i appreciate it for the most part no links but those are the exception malaysia maybe um i don't know what oh my gosh i mean look at the freaking streets there's no lines Why are there no lines? Okay. Um. You know, I'd assume, let's go this way. I'm gonna go against the flow. I literally cannot tell the difference between Indonesia and Malaysia. Well, you know better than I do, honestly. This is, I have no, I would have no idea. Maybe south of Europe, meeting with Middle East. Santiago. Merdeka. See, I thought we were... I mean, this is obviously a big city. They've got some stuff in English. So... Okay. I'm gonna say Malaysia, but we're in a big city. Um, maybe we're actually in Singapore? I'm gonna say Singapore and Medan. I'm gonna say me done. Uh, Indonesia. Indonesia. So it was one of the two. Pitch is very good at this game. <laughs> Pitch is very good. Um, reduce, uh, reduce your speed. Okay, so that's Spanish. So South America somewhere. This is not giving me anything. I'm gonna say Brazil. Like this part of the, the state? Yeah, that one, sure. You know what? You know what? Sometimes it just works. Sometimes it just works. <laughs> Uh, I do know some languages better than I do, Paige. Honestly, better than I do. Okay, so if we ignore Australia to UK, I think we did pretty well. As long as we ignore Australia to UK, I think we did pretty well. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not unhappy with that, honestly. Um. Do do do. Okay. Um, I don't really, I don't see anyone that I know rating, and I don't really have time to, like, go looking, unfortunately. Um, so I'm gonna set you guys off into the wild, but, uh, thank you guys so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. Sorry that today is a bit of a shorter stream. Like I said, that Ding Ding appointment was supposed to be yesterday. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, I love you too, right? Thank you so much for being here. Fox, I hope that you enjoyed your first stream here with us. Um, and Pidge is always... Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you so much. Alright, and I will see you guys on Friday for stream anniversary stuff, maybe? We'll talk about it on the Discord. Alright. Bye, my dears. Much love. Bye-bye. Stream anniversary, one year, baby! <laughs>